add a PID in Siemens version 15 TA portal. So let's start with adding a new block for PID. So to call a PID, we need to call the continuous controller block. So you can see that it's a continuous controller block. And simultaneously, it will ask you to create a DB for the same. So we will name this DB as a PID. DB. So our function for the PID has been called. So as you can see, there are so many parameters. So you need not to worry about these many parameters. There are a handful of the parameters that we'll be using. So, so starting with the first, we will using a manual on if there is a condition where you have to use the PID in a manual condition and as you can see there proportional and integral both are selected as true means these two parameters proportional and integral will be used further these parameters are not for use right now in this and the cycle time for the PID to run again and again is one second. So we can use this parameter as per our convenience. Now we will move further on. These two parameters are the most important one. So this is the set point integer integral value. So what we need to do is we have to give the set point for which this PID has to control for the given process value. So the process value I've already made a value for the same <coughs> that is sorry uh, flow meter input value. This is the input from the flow meter and it is coming in the form of liter per minute. So I have given 0 to thousand liter per minute the maximum value and I have used the <coughs> scale value for the same that is kilometer scaled value so what we will do is we will give the process value with this md and so this is the continuous value that will be coming from the flow meter as per of the set point let it be 100 rpm so what what the pid will do is we'll check the flow meter reading of this flow meter suppose it be 500 rpm so it will decrease the value of the output value and control our control wall so that this flow meter reading comes approximately to 100 rpm once it it is near to 100 rpm the pid block will stop giving the output for the same so that's how the pid works and uh, uh, we have to use these parameters to control the hunting and all the parameters that we use to control the PID. So this is the integral time. This is the gain. So if your cycle time increases, suppose it be under five sec, five second. So you have to increase the gain approximately 
in proportion to the cycle time. In, in this case only, your both the cycle and the gain will match and the desired output will be uh, very fast. So this is how this works and keep in mind that you have to configure this also as per the, the device of the uh, equipment. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have learned PID uh, in Siemens TA Porter version 15. Thank you very much.